everyone welcome back to my channel so a couple of weeks ago i took you all along with me bulk food shopping and you know that i also shop at costco however my mom this is my mom june a lot of you know who she is it's been a while since we've done anything together it has any been. good baking or anything um but my mom has a sam's club membership and a costco membership i have just a costco membership so um anyways i was talking to her on the phone today and both our costco and our sam's club are like an hour away from us they're opposite directions but they're both it's still kind of like a day trip to go to them and so today we are actually going to go to sam's she had made a comment about going i needed to stop at another store near there and so we're gonna take you with us now this is coming from the perspective of people we both shop at a lot of the bulk food stores that i took you to so there are some things that are a good deal at sam's club and there are some things that we can find a better deal at bulk food stores mm -hmm. i would say for myself a lot of my focus it is generally on things that are non-food related like toilet paper mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. paper towels i was just saying i need to get a box of wet wipes i need to add that to my list um what about for you so if you guys don't know my mom and i'll leave the link for her page below i guess but you can you can kind of say a little bit so she has a specialty food catering business although she's moving it to florida <laughs> yeah big announcement yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> so they um are actually moving to florida and in um, october in october and yeah. she's going to be moving uh her little uh, catering business there as well they're going to be working with a boys camp called gator boys camp right is that the full name uh, of it it's wilderness gator wilderness boys camp yeah Something like that. <laughs> yeah we won't get too much into it today but um, you can go ahead and check out her page because she's a great inspiring person. I think a lot of her food is, even if you're not somebody that's close to us, um, you can look at her food and get some inspiration for parties and baby showers and things like that. So, yeah, and you can find that um, on Facebook under Cottage Catering. Yeah. Yep. And um, or you can find me on Instagram. It's still under Little House of Threads. No, it's not. It's on, it is Cottage Catering. Is it changed? I'll it leave is. the links below, then you guys can find them there. But my Little House of Threads um, YouTube channel is still up. I've not added to it, but you can go check that out. <laughs> she should get back on it. I know a lot of you have commented and said about that. Yeah. But for, so from a catering perspective, <clears throat> would you say there's certain things, and we can talk more about it later in the day, mm -hmm. but would you say there's certain things in a bulk food buying mentality that you would buy not at Sam's Club that you would buy somewhere else? Or is there a lot of things at Sam's that you would find as being a good deal? Well, and it wouldn't be just for catering, but for um, large families or just simply... Canning and freezing. Yeah. And I like to buy the great big boxes of saran wrap. Okay. And um, See, there yeah. again, it's a non-food yeah. item. It is a non-food item, and it's something that my dad would have had in our bakery uh, growing up. Mm -hmm. And all of us girls in the family must have a big box of um, saran, wrap. saran wrap because <laughs> it just lasts a long time, and it's a great thing to have around. But that... Um, I like to get my coffee there and grind my own coffee, but um, paper products especially. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll take you with us. We can maybe talk about some things as we go along or later on whenever we show what we what we find for the day. And obviously, like, Costco and Sam's Club, they get things in and out. Like, they get things that come rolling in and we're like, oh, that's a really good deal on lemons or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, depending on the time of year. So, we're going to get going down the road. Do you know what I'm really hoping for? What? I'm hoping that we could just find a great big box of Zevia. Oh, yeah. We like their, <laughs> and that, and their drinks, yeah. which again, wouldn't really be like a very, like, budget savvy no, it's item. Not. It's, it's just, a specialty item. It's a specialty item. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, we have a lot of talking and about about an hour to do <laughs> so we'll see you guys when we get there one of the first things that I noticed at Sam's Club was their house plants this is a great price specifically for birds of paradise plants so if you are in the hunt for some larger house plants this would be a good deal okay so this is the saran wrap box she's talking about yes, it's very important <laughs> <laughs> How many do you think you've had in your life? Oh, you know what? I bet I've had about six of them. Six. It's oh, just, wait. if you can see, it's rather large. <laughs> it's the 18-inch one. There's a small one, too. If you're someone that really likes Ziploc brand bags, and I do, 
um, getting them here is a really great deal. And I am out of gallon bags, so I need some of them for some freezer meals and things coming up. And while I'm here, I'm also going to go ahead and grab some quartz as well. Even though I wasn't in any need of them this day, their paper towels and toilet paper are an excellent price and I always like to stock up. So this is a great example of something that was not a good deal. This is their almond milk. It's $8.28 for a pack of three and I can generally get my almond milk at Aldi for under $2 or right around there. So definitely not a very great deal. I did, however, grab this coleslaw that was a couple dollars for this massive bag. Again, another thing I would not purchase at Sam's Club is their ground meat. Just per pound, I can get it a lot cheaper at my bulk food stores in a bulk quantity, and then I package it with my vacuum packer for our own freezer. Their chicken, however, is a relatively good price, but I like to get mine at Costco because it already is vacuum packed and ready to go in the freezer. I am not gonna get these today, but I do often get these either at Costco or here, depending on where my mom and I go. Um, they are a good price. They are a pricier cheese, but we are a cheese family. <laughs> really likes cheese, and this is a very delicious cheese. Um, it works great for lunches and things like that, so I like to get that here. This is a crazy good price for Parmesan cheese, and it's something that I eat a lot, so. I am going to grab a wedge of it. At this price, it makes the vitamin water zeros 99 cents a piece, which is a crazy good deal. And since it's summertime, we have a lot of ball tournaments. So this is going to be very helpful. Okay, I was just at a local grocery store yesterday and I actually got some of this. And for one, so this has three packs in one box. It was $6.48, I believe. So here you have three packs for $9.48. So a very, very, very good deal. Um, and this is why, as we know, drinks are kind of a luxury like this, but if you're going to spend for it, why not get a really good deal for it? We drank a lot of seltzer, and so both of these are actually our favorite brands, and I turned over to look up here, and this is the same amount of cans. It's still 24 cans, but it's $8.98, so if you like the flavors, it's an excellent deal. So I know some of you had said that you don't have a lot of bulk food stores in your area, so you can buy a lot of dry goods here at for um, bulk prices. So you got like pinto beans, here is a long grain rice, a jasmine rice, and so forth and so on, flours and sugars and things like that. But just a place that you can find bulk things and bulk prices, even if you don't have a local bulk food store. Okay, I know I've mentioned before that I buy my rolled oats in 50 pound bags, but if you don't have access to that and you have access to a Sam's Club, they do have big boxes of oats. If you are someone that likes a lot of pre-packaged foods and snacks and quick meals and things like that, then you will really like Sam's Club. It's just not how we cook. We cook a lot of things from scratch, but there is a lot of snack items here if you like to buy snacky type foods. Paisley, do you know which one that we like a lot? You know which one we like in our mashed potatoes? <laughs> so this I use on pretty much everything. It's so delicious. And here it's a really great price. You can get it on Amazon. I recommend this for like literally anything. So I'll link it below in case you don't have access to a Sam's Club, but this is the best stuff ever. And this stuff here is the stuff that Corey says you must use on steak. In fact, we tried to find a replacement for this when I ran out of it one time and he still says this is the best. And I have to agree, it makes incredible steak. I always enjoy looking through their baking aisles where they have a lot of spices and baking items. I often get my vanilla extract here. However, I did make some homemade vanilla extract this past year and it is getting closer and closer to being ready to be used. So if you do not make your own of those types of things, you can definitely find them here. Another thing I like to buy is bulk nuts, bulk almonds and pecans and things like that. They are a great price here and I have a nice stash of them in my food storage. Oils and fats are something I almost always buy at Costco unless I find a price that really is good 
at a bulk food store. I just find that their quality and their pricing is really excellent at Costco or at Sam's Club. So just to give an example of something I do buy that is more of a conveniency thing at Costco or Sam's Club is crackers, just because they're very hard to make homemade um, and make them taste good or taste like the Ritz crackers or the club crackers. So this is something I generally stock up on. I make a lot of homemade soups and dips and things like that. So having these types of crackers on hand is good. I don't think I need any today, but I have a good stock at home in my food storage. Usually I keep my eye out, whether it's Sam's or Costco, for really healthy prepackaged snacks. It's kind of an, a rare thing to find. However, I can sometimes find a few things and these beef sticks from Archer are a great clean beef stick option. So this is a great healthy snack option. They are something that can be on the pricier side, but here for 14 packs, you're gonna be paying $7.88, which is a pretty good deal compared to what the grocery store sells them for. So if this is something that you like, something you need, if you need gluten-free or something that is low carb, this is a great snack. Whether at Costco or Sam's Club, I really love looking through their books. I was able to find a lot of preschool materials here for the girls when they were younger and just reading books, um, a lot of educational tools and even learning kits where you may be able to build a dinosaur like you saw there at that first thing I showed you. There's just a lot of informational things here. There's also a lot of cookbooks and they rotate these out. So definitely every time you go, you wanna check and see if they got anything new that you might be interested in. I'm a huge fan of cookbooks and collect them myself. So seeing what they have in their cookbook section is fun for me. Batteries is another item that I often get here at Sam's Club or Costco um, to stock up on. The sun is slowly going down. So most of our day was taken up by some of the other errands I needed to run. So we kind of not hurried through Sam's, but we got through it. And we got um, supper. And yeah, and we did get some We're stuff to eat. Home. And my hair is destroyed mm -hmm. because every time we come to Sam's Club, Mm -hmm. and another store in our area we were just talking about <laughs> um the wind it's like wherever their parking lot i think it's how the parking lot is here the wind mm -hmm. is just terrible and you always it's wind. like we either have wind get blown rain away. rain snow yeah <laughs> all of those things seems to be our shopping trip experiences <laughs> Yeah, how about it? I found coffee that was a good deal for me. Yeah, yeah. She, there's, coffee beans. She, she likes their coffee here. The and she has an event coming up that she needed croissants for. I did. And we like Aldi a lot. So if you have Aldi in your area, definitely check that out if you never have. Um, I know I've talked about that before. Mm -hmm. And she said that even the price here for the croissants, I think we're saying it a little bit wrong. I know we still don't pronounce it quite well, right. Well, we all know what we're talking about. Yeah. We say croissants. <laughs> um, <laughs> It, that they they were half the price here that all these yes, carries so that's very 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 good for myself one of the good deals that i got is my mic for my camera takes a certain kind of battery i forget what it's called what did you the say three volt three volt batteries and mm -hmm. um i think i paid like 19 something for a pack of was it 10 or something like that I think. and i feel mm -hmm. like in the regular store i pay at least ten dollars for two a pack of two mm -hmm. so that was a very very good deal for me and the other thing too that i found that they had on sale this week would have been the collagen uh, oh yeah their, collagen. their powdered collagen i will give you guys a little haul of the things i got when i get home and put the prices on the screen because i know that's a big thing for people they want to see the <laughs> individual prices but i wanted to ask my mom a question and then i'll kind of answer it too so do you like costco or sam's club better because i feel like people ask that question a lot and we do go to both of them pretty regularly so what do you think i know my answer so i'll let you go yeah. ahead and give yours <laughs> i like costco better I think they're, I just do, I, they have, they have better choices, I feel like, mm -hmm. that would be things that um, I would use more often as far as in cooking mm -hmm. for just Mike and I. Yeah, I agree with that. And we were, I made the comment while we were in here that uh, Costco feels bigger. Like, I think Sam's Club, like in, maybe they used to have more. I feel like, may have. do you think, think that their variety of stuff has gone down through the years or? I think it has here. Now see, it could be different in different places. Too. Yeah, different areas could be different. Okay. Um, so I personally like 
Costco better as well. They both have different things. Like there are mm -hmm. some things that are at Sam's Club that are not at Costco. Mm -hmm. I feel like their prices are relatively similar yeah, pretty much are. when it comes to pricing. So I don't think that part is like plays that big of a part into it. It's mm -hmm. just more of Costco has a lot more health oriented items like things that are organic and like just mm -hmm. stuff that we would nor like you said things we would cook mm -hmm. with a lot they have less snacks yes at costco yes here is just a really big snack joint yeah and i think i mentioned that in this voiceover that we like are people that cook a lot with ingredient we're yes. ingredient households and that's where bulk food shopping comes in as mm -hmm. a big part of that you're mm -hmm. gonna obviously buy you know mm -hmm. your rice and mm -hmm. your beans and your um flour and sugar and things that you would bu use as ingredients in the things we cook the way we cook mm -hmm. be like cooking from scratch that's yeah. what i'm trying to say yeah. we cook a lot from scratch so that means that we don't generally buy a lot of like pre-packaged correct foods and although i'm really excited about the fact that i was able to get one of those roasted chickens already oh yes the rotisserie <laughs> chickens but i feel like that's almost an ingredient because like you can take that home and make it into chicken salad or and make it, it into... makes fantastic chicken salad yeah it like really you can does. you can use that as an ingredient and i'm also really excited about my first watermelon oh yes of the year <laughs> that would be true yes. i didn't think about that yes. when i walked past it that yes. that would be and they were six first. six something here and i know at walmart they were eight something okay so, so there you go that's a good deal and am i correct in thinking that Walmart owns Sam's Club, uh, right? Yeah. They're the same. Yeah. They're the same thing. Yeah. And sometimes I know that even in some of the bigger boxes of stuff at Walmart, their stuff is actually almost the same price as Sam's. So there are certain things like the other day I went and got a lot of trash bags. I just got the big boxes of the Walmart brand trash bags and like the price is very comparable it's mm -hmm. not far off so some of that stuff again you wouldn't need to have a sam's club membership to like it just depends i don't know mm -hmm. it's kind of hit and miss i don't think it's a necessity to but it's just nice to be able to buy mm -hmm. things in large quantities mm -hmm. sometimes mm -hmm. so you don't have to buy it again for a while mm -hmm. and they run they have a flyer every month i believe it is that they send out so they have things on sale and running certain sales yeah mm -hmm. yeah i see what you're saying so anyways i'll see you guys at home and i'll show you my haul and of course and mom, i will take my haul home <laughs> mom will take her <laughs> haul home so thanks for shopping with us all right so it's actually the next day but i decided to wait till today to show you my haul because last night was really busy for me. So pretty much everything I feel like you saw me put in the cart, but I wanted to give you the prices on the screen. I don't have them in front of me at this moment. So I will just kind of say the item and then you can see the price on the screen. So here is the vitamin water. This is the vitamin water zeros. And this comes with their acai blueberry, um, their lemonade and the orange flavor. And then I got a big bag of coleslaw because it was just so inexpensive. Here is my box of wisps. These are cheese crisps. And sometimes I even use these like croutons on a salad. They just have a lot of different uses and they come with the cheddar flavor and the Parmesan flavor. This is a really good um, little meat sticks. They're just great for easy, healthy snacks. Down here, I got the LaCroix sparkling water. That has three different flavors in it. Here is the avocado oil. I do prefer Costco's, but we're currently in our last bottle from Costco. So I just went ahead and got some because that is the main oil that we use. Here are the seasonings I got to stock up. I got the buttery steakhouse, which is the one that I always recommend. So I actually got two of those. And then I got bourbon peach, which we've had before and makes great chicken. Here's the steak seasoning. And this one's a new one. It's a margarita spice. And I just think it'll be really good on chicken as well here are the batteries i was talking about earlier just an amazing price on those here is the parmesan cheese i was talking about and i was wrong on the price with this that was per pound but still a very 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 good deal here are my ziploc bags both the quart they come in 216 count and then here is the gallon and this one comes in 152 count and i just like having these on hand i feel like my stuff doesn't get freezer burnt whenever it is the ziploc brand and then this here i grabbed because of the tip that becky shares from acre homestead i really like her channel and she's such a sweetheart i've talked with her um, online before and her mom buys these big bags of garlic from costco and she throws them in her freezer so last night i actually already threw this in the freezer and you can see they freeze in individual 
garlic cloves and they are perfect for whenever you need garlic and it's already peeled and for me i don't know why but i just find it very annoying <laughs> to peel garlic so that'll be convenient and we will have garlic for a long time this way so that is my haul i know that it's not massive however i just am really stocked up on a lot of the things that we normally have so i only got the things that, that we needed but thanks a lot for watching today guys i hope this video inspired you definitely leave me a comment below on what you like from sam's club and if you like costco better than sam's club or sam's club better than costco and subscribe if you're new i am so glad that you're here if you're new welcome and i will be chatting with you guys in the comments and i'll see you guys in the next one